Welcome to the mystery, maybe you do not know. I am Maria. Wish you a good day. Discover about the mysterious green skin children from Woolpit. In the chronic Manglicanum of Ralph Incogtshall and the Historia Amanglicarum by the historian William of Newburgh. There is an impressive story depicting an event happening at Woolpit in Suffolk County. At some point in the 12th century, the reign of King Stephen, 1135-54, or King Henry II, 1154-1189, depending on the circumstances. Version chosen. Cogtshall says that he often hears this story from de Galn, an insider, while historian William Williams shares the story with many trustworthy witnesses. Woolpit is named after the English word wolf python, or wolf pit in modern English, meaning wormholes. Story tells that in one harvest season, two mysterious children, one male and one female, suddenly appeared from one of these holes. They seem to emerge from nothingness. They speak a strange language, wear strange clothes, do not eat or drink, and possess a green skin. They do not seem to come from this world. So who are they and where do they come from? The villagers looked at them as if they had never seen anything like that before. It's easy to understand because the kids are dressed in exotic clothes and have blue skin. No one can communicate with them due to language barriers. Two children were led home to a local landlord, Sir Richard de Calm. Feeling strange and separated from the world around, they are sad and cry for days. They refuse to eat or drink anything brought, but they looked hungry. Only when someone brings raw fresh beans they both eat to eat. They only live with beans for months. Later they started to eat bread. As time goes by, the boy's health is becoming increasingly depressed. He surrendered illness and died. She seems to be better adapted to her surroundings. She lost her blue skin, and became healthy. She studied English to communicate with society. Later, she even married a local man. People ask her about her past and where she has been, but everything she says just adds to her mysterious identity. She said she and her brother came from a land without sunlight, which is a kind of long twilight light. All residents here have blue skin. She is not sure where her home is located. However, she remembers that there was another luminescent land separated from her world by a long river. It is not clear how these babies will appear in the pit. The young girl said she and her brother were herding cattle and the herds went into a cave. They followed them into the cave and heard the bell inside. They wandered in the dark for a long time until they reached the mouth of the cave and suddenly blinked dazzled by the maximum light. Sunlight and abnormal air temperature make them tired so stop for a while. Then they heard voices, encountered a group of strangers or should have dripped four feet. However, the two children could not find the store and were arrested again. Many explanations have been given for the mysterious identities of the two children. Some believe that two children are immigrants from Flanders, Belgium, who are persecuted. Their parents were murdered and they had to hide in the woods. This theory can explain the strange outfits they wear on the body but they do not explain how they speak a strange language. In fact, local people can also recognize if they are Flanders. Others speculate that the cause of blue edong may be a lack of nutrients or arsenic poisoning. There has been a case where a conspirator attempted to assassinate his nephew with poison, but the rumor has never been confirmed. According to other hypotheses, the children come from an underground kingdom or other potential space. Is it possible that these mysterious children have come to our world through a time window? Another dimension or from the underground world? Over the years, many have questioned this kind of question. Trying to find an explanation for an odd event in the distant past. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to follow other videos. Goodbye and see you again.